guys welcome back to WP Payment Manager and in this video we're gonna talk about the autocomplete country restriction and location marker settings for our Google Maps add-on okay so to get started we can go to our settings section and then to our Google Maps general settings so by default autocomplete country restriction will be uh, blank okay and the location marker will have like a default location marker placed into it okay so I'm gonna come later on into the location marker let's talk about the autocomplete country restriction and what it is okay so for that let's open uh, the add new form for the event in the front end side or in the back end side so I'm using the back end side it will work like globally actually when you use it so what is uh, the autocomplete country restriction if you are ask let's type in something over here okay and we will talk about it in a moment so you see when I type in SD SD so it shows a location from the Singapore uh, country okay so we can uh, limit our autocomplete like suggestions between certain countries how we can do that you can do that via ISO codes for countries okay so ISO codes you can find from here in this uh, like website over here so the country code you will require is the two digit ISO code not the three digit one so look up your country whatever you want to use copy that ISO code you can paste it over here so let's say if I restrict our autocomplete uh, suggestion to IN so that stands for India and let's save our changes then we might reload our page over here and then if I type in SD SD over here you will see it's no longer shows the Singapore uh, like address instead it shows all the autocomplete suggestions from the country India itself okay so let me come to the theory and how it's working and why it's working okay so when we have the autocomplete country restriction as blank it will show you the autocomplete suggestions from around the globe okay no matter what but let's say if you are building an event website limited to that country itself and you don't want your users to get suggestions from outer countries you can do that as well using that field over here okay like i restricted my autocomplete suggestions to in you can restrict your autocomplete suggestions to whatever country you want and then the autocomplete suggestions for the event location fields over here let it be front end let it be back end will only show autocomplete suggestions from that country only okay so it's not limited to one country you can supply multiple countries over here separated by comma like this okay and you can like save your changes then all the autocomplete suggestions on this uh, form over here will get loaded from those designated countries okay so that's the autocomplete restrictions for our Google Maps add-on and now let's talk about the location marker it's fairly easy and let me show you how you can like demonstrate that so let's open our front-end side and we're gonna go to event listing page and there you'll find a map marker okay so the map marker we are using right now is this one over here you can see so you can supply a PNG file that will replace this default marker over here so let me give you a demonstration so you can search in Google as Google map marker okay and if you found your like desired image that you want to use or you can design your custom image as well upload it to your WordPress website and then you can you need to like provide the link to that image so I can copy this uh, image link and paste it over here then I can save my changes over there and then I can reload this page you will see when I reload this default marker will get replaced with this marker over here okay so let's reload and there I mean this marker is huge right now but you need to provide like a small marker size or like image uh, for this section over here to make it look good and all but you get the point how you can change the map marker for your Google Maps in the WordPress environment with help of our Google Maps add-on okay so what we talked about today is autocomplete country restriction how to restrict your auto suggestions within few countries and how to change the location marker for the Google Maps so this is not limited to even listing page if I go to one events page it will be there as well okay so that's pretty simple and pretty amazing and how easily you can customize it too so let us know in the comment if you have any confusions i'll be sure to help you out in there until next time i'm just saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one